Okay, I just cleaned my fridge and I'm giving you a quick tour of some of the things I like. I'm just gonna show you around real quick. Um, the biggest thing, actually, I'm gonna shut this part. Hold on. I just went to Walmart and I got all these cool things, these containers that are really nice, and easy to see through, and I labeled everything. Um, like everything. Sliced cheeses, roast beef, shredded cheese. I have one for ham. Over here, I've got cream cheese, goat cheese, Velveeta. I've even got a cute one for string cheese and laughing cow. Um, one over here for protein balls, Parmesan. I've got my feta, my ricotta, my butters. Over here, I've got my, yeah, I love this stuff. Um, any kind of these kind of cheeses, the creamy ones, I'm totally down with. And then this is great if you ever want to try this kind of stuff um, on ginger snaps, believe it or not. And then I love this creamy goat cheese from Trader Joe's too. Awesome. And then we always have sausage, Jimmy Dean's regular. And then we've got the Applegate hot dogs for the kids. These are little smokies. And I just started doing salmon. And uh, so there's that, and I'm pretty happy with the way this all turned out. I'm going to stick it in there. Okay, now we're going to shift that and do this part real quick. Um, obviously, we always have a lot of eggs. New stuff is the kefirs. I'm really, I'm, I left this out for um, like 24 hours before I put it back in the fridge because my friend told me to do that. Um, I do this just to keep things going. I use probiotics, but still every once in a while I'll have that. Um, I like this green matcha tea, uh, tea and then I, I like this creamer and I actually mix this creamer with, I'll show you in a minute. Um, I'm trying to get more protein. So along with the par uh, protein bars, we're doing these. And if I don't like the taste of whatever it is, I just pour it in my smoothie. Um, do it egg whites more often and actually while I'm thinking about that down here in the freezer These little egg white things that you can give them Costco are the ball so um, And then in here I'm doing the tzatziki sauce. I really really like that stuff um, Beef broth always this is not mine. I do not eat this but we do have grains in here this is totally mine. I keep it in the free fridge so that it will stay good, but it's the thin slice and it's 80 calories of um, Dave's Killer Bread. So love that. That's all kinds of stuff back there. I should probably point out this was a um, splurge with a coupon. Those are our own cucumbers from our own garden, and those are really good. We've got several of those. Um, let's see. What else? I really am digging the pesto. Of course, we've got hummus, which I just do regular hummus. I don't like all the other stuff in it. There's some lettuce back there, the Cool Whips for the kids. Uh, obviously, always a wine in here. Um, we always have blueberries. There's extra onions back there because we have a whole drawer of onions, and that is going to be cut up and put in the freeze dryer. Um, I have grilled chicken, and actually, I didn't cook this. I got this at Costco, and you can just buy the little things, and it's just working out every once in a while for easy doing a lot of stuff with mushrooms. So mushrooms, um, this is cooked hamburger. Um, I like the fact that we're keeping the grilled chicken and the hamburger and the bacon at all times. Another thing I have for the little containers is bananas. Instead of them going bad, I can put them in here and then I can quickly take the banana that's still fresh and pop it in the, um, smoothie. And then here's Ezekiel bread, lavish bread, and ready to cook tortillas because we just like all those things. Um, these are also some sausages that I got from Costco. Um, what else? I think that might be it. And put the hamburger back. Oh, cottage cheese always. I don't know if I said that, but I've got, yeah, ricotta, feta, parmesan, shredded. I mean, you name it. On the cheese, we got lots of cheese and lots of meat. The roast beef, this is extra meat, so we have, I have ham in there. So just really a ton of that, um, the meats. And then over here, like, just like this, to put in the smoothies and stuff, I'm either eating this plain or putting it in a smoothie as well. These have 20 to 25 grams of protein. And this lady told me about it at the store the other day. We got to talking four times the protein 
as a traditional yogurt and it's really good one of my favorites is um the, the key lime and hayden actually takes the vanilla and we have toffee bits and he puts it on but you know what i'm like if he's getting 25 grams of protein then so be it he can have that he's still growing um, and then also I have a lot of alkaline waters in here. I like that. If you look to the really back, I have that Akai uh, juice back there. We have coconut milk for smoothies, um, half and half orange juice. Yeah, so anyways, that's it. Let me know if I'm missing something. I'm, I've, oh, I've always got a roasted garlic olives, always, always. I have to have that. And this is Brussels sprouts. More butter, we only use butter, nothing else. And this is my obviously favorite butter. Um, oh, and here, this is leftover eggplant that I'm gonna have tomorrow for lunch. And then we have things like celery for celery and peanut butter. This, these sweet snow peas from Trader Joe's, good with just ranch or whatever. And then these are actually leftover from my son's birthday party. It's um, little smoky yeah, pigs in a blanket. And this fruit is leftover fruit that I'm going to use that wasn't pretty and it's a mix and I just put that in my smoothie to my freeze dryer. So there's what's in there. And I think I, I think I've did pretty much everything in there except for this, which I have not done the drawers yet. Um, and then, so the freezer, see if there's anything. Oh my gosh, you guys gotta see this. This is like one of my favorite splurges ever. Um, they are so good. Splurge, splurge. And then I just have all kinds of random stuff. Hash browns, sweet potatoes, um, the stir fry noodles. Uh, and then just, what else do I have in here? Some lots of shrimp, lots of vegetables, um, protein bars, meatballs, lots more butter. Just, oh, we have that rebel. But I tried it for the first time and I'm not really a big fan. Not worth it chopped spinach, some corn, and that's cauliflower pizza crust. So anyways, that's it. Let me know if I forgot anything and hopefully that was good for you. Bye.